Today, I'm going to tell you about how to manage your money better. Let's go! Number one, have a budget. If you don't have a budget, you will spend all of your money. Let's say that you have 100 baht, right? And you don't have a budget, so you spend all of your money, 100 baht, gone away. But if you have a budget, you will keep in your mind, 50 baht, I will spend only 50 baht in your mind. And you spend 50 baht, right? You keep another 50 baht. Or you can divide it in three parts. Three parts. Number one is needs. You spend it for needs. Number two is savings. You save money. Number three is entertain yourself, which is the money left over from these two parts. Very good. If you have a hundred baht, right? And you spend for your needs, 60 baht. And you keep it, you save it, 30 baht, 30 baht. And you left 10 baht, 10 baht, 10 baht. So you can spend that for your entertainment to motivate your souls. Next, number two. Give yourselves a limit for unbudgeted spending. If you walked into the supermarket, keep in your mind that you will you will buy an apple. One apple costs ten baht. But you came out and you buy the apple already and you came out and you saw a beautiful clothes, beautiful clothes. Everything that you like. So you wanted to buy it, you wanted to buy it, but you don't buy it because you know that this is the limit that you want to buy only an apple. So you have money left for going to spending and other spending, dividing three parts that I told you, right? But if you spend it, your money will decrease and you will don't have money left when you go buy clothes, uh, everything shopping, right? You will, it, this this is the uh, buying that, shopping that is an unexpected. So, limit your souls. Number three, track your spending. Track your spending. If you don't track your spending, it will be, go away your money will gone away gone with the wind gone away track your spending track your spending please okay next number four safe up for big purchases like if you want a phone an iphone and you know it's very expensive so if you work you got thousand baht you can save it for 600 save it first if you don't save it, you don't have money to buy it. So save up for big purchases. Number five, contribute to saving regularly. So you must contribute, right? You must know in your mind that today I must deposit my money to my to the bank. I must deposit my money to my account. You, let's say you can deposit it online or offline. Okay, you must know yourself. Build that habit. It's very good. Number six, reward yourself for reaching your goals. That is the best thing of the tips, right? This is the thing that motivate yourselves. Build up yourself to to let you have happiness when you're managing your money. So thank you for listening. See you next time. Bye-bye.